Hey, I debated if I needed to make a video about this, but almost all my videos have a question about my rulers. I do comment back, but there's continuously new people asking the same questions, so I figured it would be easier to have a video for all of those questions and all of you, so here is a video all about my rulers. First off, if you want suggestions on where you can find and buy these rulers, I will put links in the description of this video. Okay, so for those of you who are asking what is that flexible ruler or that see-through ruler, this is my Shadler Precision Rule. I have two of them actually. They're 12 inches, but they also come in 18 inch and possibly more. I got these in design school. It was a requirement in my design class to have these exact rulers, this brand name, and they are expensive. I think I got these for $45 when I was a student, and that was about almost 14 years ago which is, that's depressing. <laughs> so mine are a bit old. They have some of the film missing on them. They've held up for so long and I still use them. I use them for just about every project because they are so precise and that is what makes them worth their money. I remember being a student and going to buy it and seeing the price and I'm like, I'm paying what for what? But they are super precise and that is what you're paying for. I'm not sure what the newer versions look like or if they've changed at all. Mine have different measurement breakdowns which make them valuable. Side note, do not use these rulers for cutting or trimming things. I have some cut marks on the sides of mine. That's what I did when I was a student and I was being lazy and not getting a metal ruler. So do not cut along these because they are thin. Overall, awesome rulers if you want precision. Next ruler I use a lot is this Aluma Cutter ruler. If you've been following my channel, you've probably heard me talk about this. I've mentioned it in a couple of my videos. This one I have also had for years, probably 14 years as well, and it hasn't let me down yet. It still is intact. The backing is still intact, which I'm really surprised at. It has lasted me for so long and I've cut so many things with it. And the best part is the finger guard. When you're making so many projects, accidents happen and this has prevented so many accidents on my fingers. It's a strong, thick, sturdy aluminum ruler and it hasn't bent over the years, still pretty sturdy for as many years as I've had it. There is a little scuffing on the side, but honestly, the ruler is still pretty much like new. The newest addition to my ruler family is this clear ruler. I don't know what else to call it because I don't remember the name of it. It has this graph on it. Maybe it's called a graft ruler. I'm not sure. If you know, comment below. It has this grid that I find really useful because it saves time when I need like a quick border around something. It just makes everything faster when there's a grid. It might not be as like precise as the precision rule if you want to get really picky about it, but it's really handy. I know a lot of you that watch my videos use centimeters or the metric system. I live in the US and I use inches. I have used both because I went to school, we had to use metric, but on everything else past that, I've had to use inches on things. So I'm, I guess, fluent in both, <laughs> but it's, really easy to convert inches to centimeters and vice versa. There's apps out there that do it. If you search online, there are free tools that easily do it, but I also provide it on my videos when I'm putting the measurements on screen because I know how much you guys like it. But if you just want metric system, you might not like this ruler because it's only in inches and you might have to find something that has what you're looking for. So that is my ruler collection. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments on anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more supply videos, you can check out this playlist right here. You also might be interested in my last tip video that was about how to protect book covers, and you can check that out right here. You can also follow me on my social links. I answer questions there as well. And be sure to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys next week.